Hi, this is Adam Dewhurst, back with another Forger tip. Um, on this one, I wanted to address a comment I got on another YouTube video about uh, this build, which was my pirate captain, and how I added in the image references. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Um, so adding image references is really easy. You can't necessarily add them in orthographic, but we can just add them in the background. So if you go back to your um, menu, which I keep on my left hand side, you'll see there's a tab called resources. So if I open up resources, you'll see I have a whole lot of reference in here for various different projects. And in order to add them to your background, all you really need to do is take something. So this guy was based on Henry Cavill, is select it and then drag it to your desktop and it will appear there as part of the image plane. Now, you can see we've got a problem here because that image is well, it's behind my character. So to alter that image, again, you're gonna open up the, the side menu and you're gonna to go to your objects list and you'll see you've got image plane. So if I open up the arrow next to image plane uh, and in a translation, I can move this by sliding it back and forth to a better position, up and down as well. And I can also alter scale and rotation. So I might want to make this bigger, try to line it up roughly, get a similar angle, see what I can find. And I can also control the transparency so I could fade it out and the visibility as well. I can also turn the visibility off by just hitting the eyeball icon in your objects list, which is how I normally leave it when I'm finished. Um, now, what if you want to add more references? Well, that's pretty easy. Let's say halfway through, I changed my mind and I wanted this to be more of a Johnny Depp uh, Pirates of the Caribbean style. I'm going to go back to my resources menu. And at the bottom, you've got two icons. You've got a camera, so you can literally photograph reference on your iPad. Another great reason why Forger is so adaptable, because you can be out, find some reference, photograph it, and then sculpt using that reference. Or you can hit the little uh, photos icon here. And I have a folder in here somewhere called ref, where I've put some reference, and I'm going to take Johnny Depp, and I can take another one. Let's go again. Ref, let's take a different one. Now, the only trouble here is that there's not really much of an order of this. I'm, I'm not sure if it's alphabetical or something else. Let's just take a profile picture, um, but it's gonna be in here somewhere. <laughs> so we're gonna scroll up and down. There we go, there's a couple of Johnny Depp's. Um, it might be the order you uploaded. I don't think so though, because this is this a lot of this stuff came in at different times. So now I'm gonna take my Johnny Depp Drop them in. Now it'll pay to have, you know, much like I've got Cara Delevingne, I've got Henry Cavill, um, to have different angles of the actors you're basing your sculpts on if you are doing likenesses. So, you know, here for example, I've got a side on profile, and then again, practical impl implication of this. If I went back to my objects list, back to my image plane, I can scale that down a bit, and I can normally, I just put it off to one side, so when I'm in full view, I've got plenty of space here to use that as a reference. So there you go, image planes, really easy to bring into Forger and use.